Uh, you tend to revel in the communication uh, level you've come to uh, experience. People in the North End is particularly, as I say, revel in the fact that they speak a certain way. And if you speak some way other than that, they find you to be different. And I can't express it more than uh, to say they really revel. They go further than what they really should. In other words, to communicate with one another, they don't have to say, Ka, is like they say, but they'll say it even more, just to emphasize the fact that that's where they're from. Julio, come here, will you please for a minute? You look all good God, though, what's the matter? Rough night? Seriously, did you make it on my party, Friday? Well, you'll find that a lot of what us happened? really do express ourselves differently, and if my brother Philip was here, he has yet another way of expressing himself. He'd probably be the best one. Yeah. Why? What is, what's, what's he saying? He definitely has an accent, a Boston North End accent. The reason why Philip has it so strong and emphasizes it and uses it to his advantage is because he's the only one out of the five of us that actually really grew up in the North End. Colombo, we doing? Chris fucked up big time. Yeah, yeah he's in trouble right. in the Marines. He fucking he called up he called up his boss. He says, hey, I ain't coming in to work today. The boss goes, why not? He says, I'm going and get beamed with the broad. The boss says, yeah, you, you, they, they put him in the brig. Yeah. Seriously, then, then he took a piss test and I... Every time I hear my younger brother talk, I cringe because it's fine for the area, it's fine for your family, you know, but when you travel outside the area and travel outside the family, you're going to have to pronounce your R's. You're going to have to um, think of what you're saying. And you're going to have to articulate. And all we could do is talk in one manner. I would never change growing up in the city. The best thing that ever happened to me really was. It's, just, I, it's such an advantage over people. As you go to a club, you start talking to a babe, and she says, you Italian? And she, what makes you think that? She says, you talk like an Italian. And then you start giving it the accent. Yeah, you guys, and uh, where you's from, and I'm with three of my friends. I chew the football all day, and uh, this, that, and the uh, mud, uh, and stuff like that. And, yeah. and the women, they eat it up. They love that. They really do. They thrive on that. And then you get a guy, right, and you tell him, don't fuck with me, I'll break your motherfucking head. And then right away, the guy, he says, wow, this kid's from the city, he's gonna pull a shank on me and cut me in. You can intimidate people with your verbal actions. On the committee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? First three rows. Are you? Watch, you walk right in like we own the joint. Seriously, watch. I'd be lost without growing up in the city and having these assets. I use them as an asset instead of a liability, you know? And when they went to college, it was a liability for my brothers, you know? But then again, they ain't as smart as me.